Okay, so as promised, uh, I want to show you how I created this this little simple web server, the actual code behind it, the HTML code. And to do that, what I, I really did was I wanted to, I kind of knew what I wanted to do. I, went, I wanted to throw some analog up here and I wanted to control this tricolor LED. So I started off by using something like this HTML kit. You can use Notepad, doesn't really matter. I started creating an, a, uh, an HTML page that would be a template of what I wanted it to be. And I'm not going to go into HTML, but you know, here's the code. Um, the background image, that was actually kind of fun. It could be anything you want. I, what I did there, these uh, coffee beans, is I, I went out here onto the internet and I did a search on uh, public uh, background, oh, background images, free public domain background images. Okay. And I was under images and I just scrolled down until up oh, there they are there's the coffee beans I opened it up and then I simply uh, copied the link to this and I pasted the link right here in this body background all right um, so when you look at this this is nothing more than a set of tables okay and I have the buttons I've created the the font color and the various information to define these things the way it's actually going to work is when I push on one of these buttons all right it's going to then change up here the web address and you'll see that in a second you're going to see it change a little bit and then we're going to query that and find out what it actually says and then respond with a simple if then statement but I created the rough outline here and then I took and copied all of this pertinent code into, let's get this out of the way, into my Arduino and let's make this quite a bit bigger so we can actually see it. Okay, see what's going on. So down here you can see all that code that you saw in the HTML kit. The only thing that I had to do is I had to now, instead of it just being right out there, I had to then send a string so that it would be created on the fly on the web page. All right. So I literally took and pasted this line right here in front of every single uh, HTML tag and whatnot. I close it off, and of course with Arduino, you know you have to end it with a semicolon, so the parentheses semicolon. The other thing that has to be taken care of to convert it is things like quotes. Uh, they don't, you, you, can't, you can't just print a quote, so you have to use a switch statement. So every time there's a quote, you put a switch statement in, so that way it actually prints a quote. Um, the refreshing of the page, where does that occur? It happens here, okay? So I refresh the page every five seconds. And down here, what it does is we take a look at what gets displayed um, in the, in the, uh, the HTML uh, the directory and we query it for these changes and if in fact there's a change for example if it says zero on then I'm gonna go ahead and turn the light on if it says zero off I'm gonna turn the light off so if you watch it if we go here to this code right up here you can see I can actually log right into the address okay there's my address as of this moment nothing's going on but if I push the red light okay we now end up having a switch statement which comes up right here and it tells me it's a zero on. Then the code queries it to see what exactly it says up there. All right. And now if I do this off, okay, it switches like this. The actual updating of the sensor occurs here. What it does is every time this thing runs to the loop, 
it collects the data from the analog reads and it puts those into a variable sensor 0 sensor 1 and then of course it gets printed out here and here so that it appears in my table right there um, the only other thing that's worthy of note of course all this stuff is standard uh, Arduino stuff I am using those two photo uh, resistors without any kind of uh, voltage supply because I'm going ahead and using the internal pull-ups to drive them so hopefully that's enough to get you going and um, what I'm going to probably do is create a more elaborate one and explain some more of it again all my uh, wiring is on the top of both pieces of code and I do want to put special attention um, this guy right here and his website is awesome uh, most of the stuff came from there and uh, he definitely deserves credit for it so that is it and I hope this was useful and I will see you again soon